got some breaking news that's coming in on the broadcast and this time from the top court the covid shield side effects rao is now in the supreme court there's been a plea that is seeking the study of covid shield side effects the particular plea that we're talking about is seeking a direction on the vaccine damage payment scheme as well the pil is over compensation to those that have been affected by the covid shield side effects now this is an entire row that has kicked up and this is of course something that is being discussed in social media as well and now there's been a plea about this in the top court as well and this particular plea that i'm talking about is seeking a study on covid shields side effect now the pil is seeking medical experts panel to study the effects and the risk factors of covid shield in fact this pil also is seeking direction for a vaccine damage payment scheme so that those that have faced the side effects are compensated by the government so this is clearly there a pil in connection to the vaccine side effect the covid shield vaccine which was widely given as far as uh, the covid-19 pandemic was concerned and uh, now there's been a pil over its side effect row which has kicked up across the nation So this is uh, clearly a PIL there which is now also seeking a strict law against the so called criminal act now this PIL of course is talking about how covid shield side effects raw has been kicking up across the nation and the people who have of course taken this particular vaccine are facing the side effects and the plea particularly also mentioned that astrazeneca's admission in the uk court has also triggered fear among the public and that there should be a detailed study on the covid shield side effects following which there should be a direction on the vaccine damage payment scheme harish joins us on the broadcast to get us more details on this harish this is of course a controversy that has kicked up on social media as well and there's a plea now in the top court as well give us more details as to what exactly this plea is seeking and also what are the basis for this particular uh, petitioner to claim that there seem to be some sort of a side effect as far as covid shield is concerned Yes, that's right, Ashish. A big development as far as the COVID uh, COVID shield the side effects controversy is concerned. Two days after the news has surfaced uh, regarding AstraZeneca's uh, startling claim before a UK court, now a uh, Supreme Court advocate Vishal Tiwari has filed a public interest litigation in the Supreme Court seeking. constitution of a high level medical experts team headed by a retired supreme court judge to examine the side effects and also uh, brief the citizenry on the uh, uh, risk uh, side effects and also the risk factors involved in that uh, covid shield um, vaccine and also uh, formation of a uh, vaccine damage a uh, compensation scheme a uh, higher compensation be paid to all those who died and got disabled after vaccination these are the primary demands made in the public interest litigation and also a strict law to deal with those who uh, circulate sell circulate uh, and uh, export uh, counterfeit vaccine this is what the pil says a uh, very strict action against those who sell uh, purchase sell and uh, circulate such vaccines uh, causing damage to human lives so these are some of the prayers listed by advocate vishal tiwari and he has uh, told times now that tomorrow morning he will be mentioning this uh, pil seeking a very urgent hearing uh, after the actress dinika has raised this concern and uh, made some revelation before the uk court and as saying that it has an effect on large lakhs and lakhs of indians who had suffered uh, who were afflicted with covid and had taken the covid shield vaccine so we will have to wait and watch whether the supreme court grants vishal tiwari an urgent hearing or not tomorrow at 10:30 this petition is going to be mentioned back to you right harish will of course keep a very close eye on the next hearing in this particular uh, case as well but uh, also help us understand what exactly is this row that we're talking about because of course there seems to be a lot of uh, speculation on social media as well on one hand you got reports of there being a very minuscule risk of uh, thromboembolic events as well and on the other hand on the social media we are seeing this being uh, of course politicized as well due to various reasons so what exactly is this petitioner talking about as far as the side effects is concerned Yes, in fact, yes, not uh, brought uh, brought out any new information. Yes, just attached uh, newspaper clippings as far as this controversy is concerned. He has only relied on the uh, 
uh, submission made by the AstraZeneca, the pharmaceutical firm, before the UK court, and also saying like the thrombosis and the blood clotting uh, is a possibility of those who had taken Covishield vaccine. And therefore, the Supreme Court has to allay apprehensions by forming a high-level medical expert committee headed by a retired Supreme Court judge. And, uh, and as I said earlier, a series of prayers along with that. And uh, tomorrow, it's expected that he will make a mention before the Chief Justice seeking an urgent hearing. Joining us on the broadcast there with all those details, of course, a very, very serious uh, concern for people across the nation and now a plea in the Supreme Court as well. We'll, of course, keep a very close eye on all the developments that come in as far as this case is concerned. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.